Hey, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday to you. Today, uh, guppy tub update. I uh, may or may not have a new guppy tub that we need to talk about. There may or may not be fry outside. I may or may not be adding new fish. You're just gonna have to maybe or maybe not stand by. All right, fishy folks, the time has come to pick fish for the mutt guppy pond outside. That's right, folks a new mutt guppy pond. Why, you ask? Because I almost sold out of mutts. They're selling like hotcakes, baby. You should probably get some if you want some because I would say a couple more orders and I'm gonna have to stop them because uh, I won't have enough adult mutts. And nobody wants mutt fry. You don't have no idea what they're gonna look like. Surprise mystery pack. Mutt mystery pack. Mutt mystery fry pack. Only $19.99. Right, it's just me thinking out loud. So this uh, is probably going to get some fast motion and probably some pretty funky music. And so just, uh, you know, stand by, relax, watch me grab some mutts and uh, then we'll go outside. All right. Cool. fishy folks I'm gonna get take the camera off the tripod show you the viewer with all the fish I got a couple blues I got a couple greens I got a bunch of reds I got a, way more females than males a lot of mutts in there let's see what we got and go put them in the pond all right fishy folks here's the viewer with I don't know maybe 20 different guppies in there I think I have five or six males and maybe 15 females. Some of them really big, ready to drop. So those guys will, will drop at least, those big guys will drop at least one batch of fry from their current tank. So they'll grow up outside for probably a month and a half. So that'll be good. They'll get great colors. Then there'll be, uh, the sea will be passed from other boys and uh, we'll get some more mutts. So. Uh, I didn't pull any females from my actual mutt tank, so these will be all new mutt mixtures, if you will. So I'm going to uh, change the battery in my camera, feed my fishies down here in the fish room, and then uh, go outside and put them in the guppy tub. And I'm, I'm going to film that for you guys, all right? So uh, you know what to do, right? Stand by. All right, fishy folks, let's do a guppy tub update. So here we have the grass guppies. As of yesterday, there was no fry in here. Uh, everybody else seems to be doing well, growing nice, but no fry. Not really sure why. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna let these guys grow. Over here we have the Cobra Guppies. These dropped fry last week, growing nicely. I have been feeding this tub a little bit more than the others. Uh, when I say a little bit more, the other ones I feed maybe once or twice a week. But these, this one I'm trying to feed every day because it's got fry. I want them to, to grow fast and survive, obviously. I don't want them to be eaten because they are tasty and delicious. So looking forward to see what these guys look like when they grow up. And uh, over here we have the... Oh, there's a frog. Oh, you can see it. Let's see if we can get my fancy camera to focus. That's not the frog. He's camouflaged. Anyway, it's down there, trust me. Back to guppies. Uh, these are the red magentas, I think. See, I forgot already. Um, I thought I put three females and two males, but it looks like I might have two and two, so I'm gonna have to investigate. Nothing out of this tub yet, but in this tub with the red dragon guppies, we had fry Monday. Uh, Lucas, my six-year-old, counted 12, then 11, then 14, then 18. Oh, sorry, the AC just kicked on. Uh, anyway, there's probably about 20 fry in there, growing nice. Uh, there's two females. The other female was hiding yesterday, so it wouldn't surprise me if I had more fry uh, tonight or tomorrow. Actually, she's out and about over there, so maybe she didn't drop or she did, and I just can't see them because they're, they're littler. They're much more littler. And then, of course, we have our new guppy tub. This is a 55-gallon plastic drum that I cut the top off of. Um, it's probably about 40 gallons is my guess. 
I have the top. I'm, I'm going to probably try to use it if I can fit it somewhere. Uh, but this is going to get uh, the mutt guppies. This is going to be the mutt guppy tub. And as you see, it's quite a bit bigger because I'm going to put quite a bit more fish in there than normal. I want mass production of mutt guppies because they're so awesome. So uh, let's put some mutt guppies in there, shall we? Do, 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 do. That's the mutt guppy music. Do, 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 do. There's the muck guppies. We'll acclimate them. Boom, acclimated. Make sure we get everybody. Yep. Welcome to your new home, guys. Now you might be saying to yourself, there's gonna be no guppy production out of there. There's nothing for the guppy fry to hide in. And you would be 100% right. That's why we have a bucket of moss. That's right, a bucket of moss. See, bucket of moss. Oh, there's a lightning bug. Firefly lightning bug, what do you call it? Leave a comment below. Moss and floating plants, and the reason why you want floating plants in the pond is if it does get sun, underneath the plants will be much cooler than not underneath the plants, so. There you go. I may actually come out here and fertilize these tubs just for some more better plant growth. Uh, I have some easy green. I don't really use it that much because I only have one plant to tank, um, which I'm going to be doing an update soon on. But So I may come out here and put a couple squirts in these tanks just to see if we can't uh, jumpstart the plant growth. So there you have it, the new Mutt Guppy tub outside, 40-ish gallons. Uh, by the way, I got this plastic drum off Facebook Marketplace for $10. Um, you can't beat that, right? This I got for free. For my work that was like six bucks those were like seven bucks last year the hot pink ones uh and that's that so hope you guys enjoyed my guppy tub update summer tubbing is in full swing <coughs> excuse me with five tubs and uh, you can see there's room i did make room for one more here just looking for the right tub uh it's probably going to be one of those small ones but I may try a, a rectangle one in this spot and just see what it looks like, see how it works. Because I haven't done that yet, so. All right, guys, hope everyone has a great fishy day. Happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your fishy needs. See ya. Hi, fishy folks, and happy water... Gotta look at the camera, not my pretty face. I'm gonna feed that for you. Feed?